The Nigerian economy and efforts at recovery so far since the recession has come under scrutiny on the floor of the House on various occasions, hence this legislative summit. This is one crucial sector the Vice President, Professor Yemio Shibajo, is certainly looking to straighten out, beginning with issues of corruption and the budget. Corruption is perhaps the most outrageous cause of our economic decline. If the budget process takes up to five months of the financial year and procurement is another three months, we've already ensured that the economy would be at a standstill for most of the year. The truth is that no developing economy can afford the luxury of prolonged executive legislative wrangling over the budget. Budgetary delay in a situation of national economic emergency and the hardship encountered by so many is simply wrong. It is simply unacceptable. Neither the executive nor the legislature can excuse itself. We will not walk this path of recession again. That apparently is the new mantra the government hopes to follow through. There is absolutely no reason why we cannot ramp up taxes, both federal and state taxes. The income taxes and corporation taxes will be crucial as we go along in increasing our revenues. A democracy cannot survive the 21st century unless we eliminate extreme poverty and violence. The government alone cannot win. In fact, no government ever in history has ever won this fight. It is the private sector that always wins the fight. If the government's prediction is anything to go by, the future of Nigeria as the fourth largest population by 2050 largely remains unclear. There's been an outpouring of grief, sorrow and hardship by Nigerians over the state of the nation's economy, but the federal government looks prepared more than ever to take this bull by the horn, not only through its anti-corruption drive, but through a boost to the nation's productivity to ensure a stabilized economy. Gloria Umezuke, Channel Television News.